Hello, and welcome to this video, which introduces our fourth unit for Physics 131 on the topic of energy. In this unit, we're going to be switching gears a little bit. Up to this point, we've been thinking about the idea of forces, and now we're going to move on to another somewhat separate but also related idea, the idea of energy. Energy, along with forces and entropy, form the three big ideas in this particular course, and are arguably three of the most important concepts in the entire subject of physics. We've been studying forces up to this point. Unit 4 begins our study of energy, and then Unit 5 will focus on entropy. In addition to shifting from forces to energy, we'll also have a little bit of a shift in scale as well. Up to this point, we've been dealing with what you might call the macroscopic scale, the scale of people and cars and blocks and things we can see. Now we're going to have a beginning of a shift to a microscopic scale of cells and atoms and that sort of thing. And we're going to be explicitly looking to make connections to things you might have seen in a biology or a chemistry class. So what is the structure of the book for this particular unit? So the first chapter in this unit is chapter 12. Chapter 12 introduces some ideas about the microscopic world, such as atoms, the periodic table, moles, the ideal gas, that we expect is familiar to most of you. You can skim it, but if you are unfamiliar with this material, it is provided here for you. Then in chapter 13, you really begin to get into energy. Chapter 13 provides a basic overview of energy, with its conservation. It also talks about the ideas of heat and work as methods of energy transfer and expressly compares and contrasts the ideas of energy and the idea of enthalpy that you might have seen in a previous course. Then we really get into the details into the latter chapters. Chapter 14 is energy at the macroscopic scale we've been working out of people and blocks and so forth. Meanwhile, chapter 15 delves into the microscopic scale and looks at energy with the scale of atoms and molecules and along the way introduces the related idea of temperature. So you may have noticed that each unit has a slightly different feel to the preparation. Unit 1 was just a lot of math that we had to get out of the way and, and have under our belts to begin our study of physics. Unit 2 had fewer ideas but they were probably less familiar than, say, graphs. I'm, I'm guessing that the idea of object egotism was new to most of you. Unit 3 tied very closely into Unit 2 and had three big ideas, each with a connecting sort of sub-idea, for example, torque and center of mass. This unit on energy has quite a few concepts and formulas that go with them. And we really want you to view this preparation as sort of a vocabulary list, like you might have in, say, a foreign language class. We will use these different ideas and look at how to put them together in class. Use the instructor's notes and the equation sheet provided on Moodle to help keep you focused. This concludes this video.